Hello everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be about how to use view helpers in Ruby on Rails. So a view helper is something that takes out complexity of code inside view files. So what do I mean by this? Uh, so let's see. If you have this piece of code right here, a div and uh, with a button enclosed, how can we make this more simpler? How can we make this less complex and more readable? By using a view helper, of course. So, to use a view helper, we need... Well, first you need a route. You have to check your route first. And as you can see, I have a resources slash articles, so I have named uh, paths. And if you go to our controller, Articles controller. This is just a sample controller that I'm using for this demonstration. And uh, we have this index action. This index action by default renders a view file with the name of its uh, action name. So if it has the name index, it's going to go in the views folder, look in the articles folder and then look for the matching file name in this case index and we have index right here so index is going to be rendered uh, anyway so how can we implement the view uh, help helper well this is how we can do something like this actually let's start with the code first so let's go to helpers this helper file is in the app folder so navigate to your helper directory and open article helper if this file is not created you can easily create it by double clicking uh, right clicking I mean and then new file and then just make sure to name this article helper to match the controller name so if it's uh, your controller should always be pluralized by the way it should not be singular form uh, make sure the helper is in singular form that matches the controller name so articles article so they match okay so now let's write we have to write a method that's gonna do the substituting in the view file okay, okay so let's call it render sample button and in here we're going to define a content tag div so this syntax is specifically for rendering view helpers and it has to be followed through with so ID won't be needed here but. so we can say do and since in this example we have a button enclosed in a div this is how it would translate to so we would say content tag button and this is how you can enclose uh, elements in a view in a helper file now we can see that this button if we click on it should throw us an alert javascript alert saying hello world so to mimic this we can define an attribute called on click. Notice this colon and arrow syntax. This is the same equivalent as the HTML form, but since this is a Ruby file, this is the equivalent form. So now we say hello world. And now we should be good. Now let's copy this name, come over here, and now this is, since we're in an EBR file, we can import our custom uh, view helper by using this syntax. So right uh, arrow and then percent sign equals the name of the uh, helper method which in this case is sample uh, render sample button and then uh, percent sign and then right arrow 
So now we should be able to delete this. Actually, let's keep both and see what happens. Okay. Okay, so observe. So what happened was the on click parameter became the text. We don't want that because so this happened because we're missing an attribute over here. So this middle attribute is always going to be the text value. So since this button has a text value of click me, let's do the same over here. And refresh. So now this button. throws the same alert as the button above and if you observe in the DOM you can see these two button uh, these two divs are identical even though the implementation over here is not right because this is just plain HTML and this is where we're using a view helper here but in the DOM it's treated the same this is because the purpose of a view helper is to substitute HTML uh, substitute yeah HTML code that renders in the DOM as the same thing basically making everything a lot more simpler so for example here we have three lines of code here we just have one line of code which looks way easier and easier to read so now let's delete the old syntax so now we just have this button and it says hello world okay so that was just a, a very small basic tutorial on how to use uh, view helpers. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.